I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll take few examples based on logarithmic laws. How do we simplify expressions? That is the motive. There are six questions here for you. You can always pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, use laws of logarithms to write the following as single logarithm or as an integer. So if you can evaluate, then evaluate. That is the whole purpose. So these are the six questions. Question number one, sum of logarithms with the same base or difference of logarithms. You see here, when we are adding and subtracting logarithms, we are trying to do it with integer values. So that becomes slightly tricky. And here we use another log of logarithm. So I hope that is not difficult. However, let's review some basic concepts as some of you might just need it. Right? So here are few basic concepts. When we learned about logarithms, we knew y equals to x squared. But how is x related to y? And there, we know it is square root of x, right? But in this case, if y equals to 2 to the power of x, then how x is related to y? We had no solution for this, and that's why the logarithms as inverse of exponential functions evolved. So inverse of y equals to 8 to the power of x is x equals to 8 to the power of y. And we have seen how to solve them earlier. You could write in exponential form or logarithmic form an expression and simplify. So these are a few rules. a to the power of log to the base a of x is just x. Well, to give you an idea, 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5. It is in the exponential form. You can say that logarithm to the base 2 of 32 is 5. That is to say that logarithm to the base of 2 of 32 is 5. So these two statements are equivalent statements. Perfect. Now let's look into the laws as such. So log, log to the base b of 1. Log of 1 is always 0. And if the base and the argument is same, log to the base b of b is just 1. Log to the base b, b to the power of x is x. Log b to the power of log bx is x. And this is the product form log to the base b of x times w is sum of logarithms and quotient is difference of logarithms. Simple proof, use exponential form and then you can derive. You can also look into my videos for the proof of these laws. Here is change of base. You could always change the base from b to anything, let's say a. So log to the base b of x is log to the base a of x over log to the base a of b. Now this is interesting to see that if I would have changed the base from b to x, then what happens? We'll get log to the base x of x, which is 1 in the numerator, and log to the base x of b in the denominator. So kind of reciprocal identity, kind of, right? Do you see how it could work out? So these are the basic logarithmic properties now that gives you all what you need to do to solve these particular questions. Perfect. If you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given or contact me on the website. Here is our student, Akshit. After attending university. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let us take solution of these questions one by one. Question number one, 
I hope most of you must have got these solutions. Let's rewrite this question and then work it out. So log to the base 2 of 1024 minus log to the base 2 of 32. Now you could write this as a quotient, right? So log to the base 2 of 1024 divided by 32. You could use calculator at this stage and then do the needful, right? So what you get here is log to the base 2 of 32. Now, and you can evaluate this, perfect. But let me tell you one thing, that what is 2 to the power of 10 equals 2? Well, 2 to the power of 10 is 1024, right? Very important number to remember. So I could have written this question as log to the base 2 of 10, uh, 2 to the power of 10. So I'm just redoing it for benefit of some who would like to have some alternate methods. And 32 is 2 to the power of 5. So I could have written this as log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 to the power of 5. And that gives me log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of 10 minus 5, which is 5, and this is equal to 5. Is that clear to you? So that could be an alternate solution, which I really like. So when you get in logarithm some numbers, try to write them as the powers of the base. Here the base was 2 and therefore we prefer to write in that particular form and do it. So you could do questions without calculator very easily using logarithms. So this exercise should be done without calculator. Perfect. Now let's look into the second solution. I hope this is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your suggestions and comments. And if you have any doubts, don't hesitate. Send an email on the address given. Okay. Now let's look into the solution of the next question, which is log 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 is what? So let's look into this. Log 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 is what? Well, Product rule, right? So we could write this as log of 1 times 2 times 5, and that is log of 10. Now what is the base here? Well, the base is 10, and therefore this is just 1. So that is how you could find the solution of this question. Questions are with very good numbers, very simple to do, but they will help you to understand the major topic, which is laws to simplify the expressions get the idea so let's move forward and take up question number three now i find these questions slightly tricky many of my students got stuck while solving this kind of a question so i like you to pause the video answer this and then look into my suggestions well the question here is log to the base three of two minus one now how do i combine it Minus 1 with this? Hmm. I cannot divide 2 by 1. No. So what I could do here is, I could write 1 and logarithm form, right? So log to the base 3 of 2. Look here carefully. Could be written with log to the base 3 of 3. That is 1. You get the idea. Now we have the same base. So we could divide 2 by 3, right? So we get here log to the base 3 of 2 by 3. Make sense? So we have written this in the logarithmic form. So this time we are writing it as a single logarithm. Perfect. So have a good look at it. We will have a couple of questions with this concept for you to practice. Okay. Here is question number 4. So again we have a number. So can you say what should be done for this number 2? Let, let's look into this, right? So, we have log to the base 10, of course, plus 2. So, now, what should I do with 2? Well, I could write this as log to the base is 10, right? So, can I write this as uh, log to the base 10 of uh, what? 100? Look here. I could write this as log to the base 10 of 10 to the power of 2. Do you see that? So, this is what 2 is. You get an idea. So, that is how I could write this. 
correct? Because log to the base 10 of 10 is 1 and times 2 is 2. And now I can apply the laws and which gives me log to the base 10 of 2 plus log 100. You get the idea, right? And now you can multiply them, getting the result log to the base 10 of 2 times 100, which is log to the base 10 of 200. Does it make sense to you? I'd like you to go through this solution once again. It looks simple when you see the solution. However, in the test paper, this could be a difficult question. Perfect. Well, again, if you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the given address. Perfect. So, last two questions for you. And now we have incorporated another rule, which is kind of product. We had been using it, but slightly different way. Okay. So, the question now is 3 log to the base 10 of 2 minus 2 log to the base 10 of 3. So, how will you do this? Well, let's rewrite this using the loose, which is log to the base 10 of 2 to the power of 3 minus log to the base 10 of 3 to the power of 2. Now, that gives you what? Well, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, right? So, I could write this as log to the base 10 of 8 minus log to the base 10 of 9 because 3 squared is 9. And that gives me the answer, which is log of 8 over 9. Perfect. So, that is another very interesting but simple question. Now, these simple questions will help you get the concepts and then you will be in a position to solve or simplify expressions based on the laws of logarithms. The last question for you is just for you to practice. It incorporates the laws which we learned just now. So, I'd like you to now pause the video and finally, Answer this question, which is 2 log to the base 10 of 5 minus 2. So, we'll rewrite this as log to the base 10 of 5 square minus log 2 can be written as 10 to the power of 2, right? Which is 100, right? So, we get log of 25 minus log of 100, correct? And that gives you log of 25 over 100 and which is log of 1 by 4. Make sense? So, that is how we could do this particular question. You see how easy it is? Just these laws can help you solve all these problems very easily, right? So, these are the questions which we just now solved. Some we left as a single logarithm and some we found the integer value. I hope this exercise helps you to understand the concepts. Now, take up more questions based on logarithms and try it out. In case you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to write them. And please, share my videos and subscribe to them. Thank you and all the best.